The businesses are under constant attack. Businesses are bolting from areas like Antelope after repeat offenders are driving away customers. People are quickly returning to their old habits. They're right back out the next day. In a letter to Sacramento Superior Court, Chris Evans, executive director of the Antelope Business District, along with other districts representing more than 2,000 businesses, are calling for an end to the no bail policy and to reinstate the chronic nuisance offender program, saying crime to their businesses are up 82% from last year. 80% of my budget goes just into security in my district just keeping the stores secure. Ethan Conrad owns several commercial properties, including this one in North Highlands, where he says one business was targeted last night, leaving BB pellet holes in windows, just the latest of the crimes, causing tenants to want to break their lease. There's nothing stopping people, repeat offenders, from trespassing and, and you know, basically, bothering our tenants and causing problems. It started with the coronavirus zero bail. Then last month, the state Supreme Court ruled it's unconstitutional to require defendants to remain behind bars if they can't afford bail. Sacramento County Court saying in part, although the court understands the concerns expressed, we are mandated to maintain a bail schedule and bail system that's consistent with the U.S. and California constitutions. But business districts say more needs to be done. Until we have the chronic nuisance offender program back in place, until we have more tools, the problem's only going to grow. It's only going to get bigger.